Alrighty then. Successful indie author, five minute focus, episode 262, niche nonfiction. Somebody asked a question in the YouTube stream yesterday, and uh, I am completely incapable of getting to that question straight because I was talking about uh, education as your book, ed educate or uh, entertaining people. And the question was, well, grief nonfiction is that entertainment? Of course, it's not. Uh, we educate as well as entertain. So if you're talking to educate people or help them through an issue, then we're talking nonfiction. And in the nonfiction world, you, to market to that audience, you're looking to become an expert in that niche, either through your own personal journey. You've taken that journey and you've uh, come through. Uh, you survived it. Here's what you did. And maybe sharing your journey with other people will come through their uh, trials and tribulations. This is when, this is how you market it. Are you going to help them? And this isn't uh, predatory or, or anything because you've taken this journey or you're trying to help them through their grief or you're trying to uh, help them with weight loss, help them eat healthier, all different kinds of things that people are looking for. <clears throat> so finding the, the thing with marketing niche nonfiction is finding that audience. And let's talk about uh, about grief specifically. If you want to help people through their grief, what are they searching for? This is somebody who all of a sudden they lose a, a partner, they lose a parent, and, and they're lost. How do they search on the internet to find your product and something that will help them through this hardest of times? How about <clears throat> when somebody when somebody passes away who's close to you, what do they look for? Uh, funeral services. Uh, how do I, what does probate mean? What do, uh, how do I, what do I do as an executor? These kinds of things. So you think about what would that person search for? And then you try to satisfy that response. And when you say, when you, when you Google uh, nearest funeral homes, you're going to get a lot of ads because other people have come to the same conclusion. But when you go to Amazon or Kobo or Apple or or Barnes and Noble, those searches are not necessarily this, uh, so populated with ads from funeral homes or other people to flowers or or all of the things that go with uh, with a funeral. <clears throat> Check that out. Google those terms. Search those terms then on the book sites and see what see what comes up and then you can target that and once again this isn't predatory it's you've taken this you have something that you think might help them and and here you go it's not like hey i'm just gonna write a bunch of books on grief counseling i've never done it but hey what the hell uh, uh people will buy this I, I don't recommend that not for niche genres because you may get questions and you may get questions that hey here's what i did here's how the family came together here's a First-hand experience is great when you're talking nonfiction. And once again, by being an expert in the nonfiction area, I write books on leadership. Expert, not hardly, but I've uh, I failed a lot of times, so I know what not to do. And uh, <clears throat> I've captured a lot of my thoughts on that, and I've studied a lot, and I worked as a uh, professional leadership consultant for seven years. So I do have some... Uh, some uh, education, some background, some experience, and hopefully a lot of wisdom when it comes to that. So I published that book, just a small book. You don't need a lot. You don't need to uh, uh, pontificate too much on, on certain topics. Just need to help the other person. And if you're looking from that perspective, then your nonfiction will hit the right, uh, the right tones. Is your product what they need? How do you attract these people? All things that come into play with niche nonfiction. Make sure that you reach out to them. And the thing with nonfiction is you have to reach them at, a, at an emotional, whether it's leadership, whether it's weight loss, whether it's grief, all of that is, is emotionally generated. Like even, even the, the leadership book, it's emotionally generated because people are in a position and they're frustrated or they don't know what to do and they're, they're afraid. So how do we handle their fear? How do we, how do we alleviate confusion? How do we help them? get to the level where they want to be nonfiction. So it, it, there's a huge, huge audience for non and you'll see that nonfiction probably outsells fiction because people are looking for certain things and people who don't normally read might buy not your nonfiction, reach them on an emotional level, touch them, 
make sure that you're satisfying their part of the journey by sharing your journey in that same area. So that's that's my words on niche nonfiction. Hopefully, uh, hopefully they help and uh, educate as well as entertain. I when I, I mostly talk fiction because I've got a uh, hundred books of fiction and I've got six books of nonfiction. So anyway, don't take offense. It's just uh, different markets. I just have to look at them in different ways. I hope some of this helped for people who are contemplating writing some narrowed down niche nonfiction, and uh, hopefully it helps you get your your business mind around how to put this book into the right people's hands. Peace, fellow humans.